Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I will show you how you can create this 7 step process infographic and at the same time you will learn how you can slice a circle or a donut shape into multiple equal parts. Let's go! Before we get started, I want to say a huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting One Skill channel. Skillshare is an awesome online community with thousands of classes for you, my friend. You can learn many new skills such as animation, design, illustration, and many more. And I'm always looking for new ways to improve myself as a presentation designer, and learning new software such as Inkscape is really useful. In Inkscape, it's possible to create awesome vector shapes, save them as SVG files, and then import them into PowerPoint. And recently, I have taken this class on Skillshare called Inkscape Quick Start Up and Running Quickly by Dan Webb, and today we will definitely be putting some of that knowledge into practice. So definitely check out Skillshare and start creating even more amazing presentations. First 1000 people who click the link in the video description will get 2 months of Skillshare Premium for free. And now let's continue with the video. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have been watching this channel for some time, you might remember this uh, video, 6 step process infographic and PowerPoint. And basically in this tutorial, I have divided a donut shape into 6 parts. And when it comes to dividing a circle into even number of parts, let's say 6 parts, it's pretty easy because we get uh, nice angles, uh, 60 degree angles. For example, for 8 parts, we get 45 degree angles. So that's really easy to do in PowerPoint. I'll show you how. But let's say you want to divide your circle into uneven number of parts. Let's say 7 parts. Just look what kind of crazy angle do we get here. And let me just uh, show it to you with the, with the 6 uh, parts. Now let me just delete uh, these uh, 2 rectangles. So here we basically have a donut shape. Here we have a small rectangle, so let me just hit Command D to duplicate it. Let's make sure it is aligned with the, with the first rectangle. And now I can hold down the Shift key and I can rotate this uh, rectangle. And as you can see, we get this snapping by 15 uh, degrees. So that's really easy to get the right angle. And in this case, it's uh, 60 degrees for 6 parts. And for 8 parts, we would have to rotate these rectangles to 45 degrees. Alright. And once we are finished with the rotation of the rectangles, we can hold down the Shift key to select all of these uh, rectangles. Then go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, choose uh, Union. And then hold down the Shift key, select Donut Shape, and go to Merge Shapes and choose Fragment. Right, and this way we have fragmented or divided our donut shape into six parts. So now we can just hold down the shift key and select this shape. This, 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 and this one, and this one. And now we can just hit command or control X to cut those shapes. And now let's delete the rest of the shapes. We don't need them. And let's paste back in those shapes that we have just created. And this is how easy it is to create or split a donut shape or circle into even number of parts. But when it comes to uneven numbers, for example 7, you can see we get these crazy angles. And it would be pretty hard to do it in PowerPoint. Because as you can see here we get 45 degrees and here we get 60. If we would be holding down the shift key, of course we can eyeball it, we can just drag it manually. But it's uh, pretty hard to do. Well, of course, you could go to uh, Rotation Options and insert uh, the required degree right here. But then you would have to calculate the next angle for the next rectangle and so on. So it requires uh, a little bit of calculations. So that's why we will jump today into Inkscape, And Inkscape will help us out uh, to basically create uh, these rectangles. And then we will use them to split our donut shape. So Inkscape is free, open source, it works on Windows, Mac, so you can check it out and play with it. So I'll just uh, hide the page borders, so yeah, we don't need those uh, page borders for now. And now let's just grab this uh, rectangle tool. 
let's make sure we have some nice uh, fill color and now let's just draw a rectangle something like this and uh, let me just make this uh, rectangle a little bit uh, transparent let's go to fill options here we have this alpha slider so let's just drag it down a little bit just like that all right and now let me just uh, zoom in a little bit i want to show you one important thing so let's click once on the rectangle and now let's click twice and here we get this plus symbol in the center of the rectangle so let's just grab it and let's just uh, drag it down and hold down the control key to drag this plus sign in a straight line and let's move it just to the bottom of this rectangle because this is the rotation center and we will be able to rotate this uh, rectangle like this all right so let's just undo one step and before rotating this uh, rectangle let's actually select it go to edit clone and create clone so now we have a parent rectangle and the original rectangle and a clone and i will show you later on why it, why it is uh, useful <laughs> to have clones so let me just uh, put it back where it was and now while uh, the clone is selected we can go to object transform and now in the rotation options let's just type in 360 divide it and now we can choose any number of parts that we want to have so in this case let's say we want to have seven parts so let's just type in seven hit enter so this is the angle uh, that we need and now let's just click apply and as you can see this clone has been rotated by this uh, exact amount of degrees that's awesome and now all that's left to do we can just select this clone hit command d to duplicate it and now let's click on apply once again so it gets rotated once again all right so now on the second copy of clone let's uh, hit command d again to copy click uh, apply to rotate and let's do this a couple of times until we get uh, seven nicely rotated rectangles easy piece lemon squeezy let me zoom out a little bit all right and now we can select actually let me show you how to use uh, that clone feature that i was talking about uh, earlier so first of all if you change the color of your parent the color of all of these rectangles change that's awesome and what's really awesome you can hold down the shift key and you can drag in the width of this uh, parent rectangle and now as you can see all of these uh, rectangles get updated and here you can basically decide how wide you would like uh, the gaps between your shapes to be so let's just drag in to something like this all right and now we can just hit command a to select all of these shapes and now let's just go to path and choose union so this is basically the same union we have in powerpoint all right now let me just set back the transparency or to remove the transparency let's just get back to fill options and let's move alpha to 100 all right awesome now let me get back to our page borders let me activate them as you can see this is our page and let me make let me resize this page to our drawing all right wonderful and now we can save this file as svg so let's just save it as svg let's go to downloads and let's just call it seven steps let's hit save now we can get back to powerpoint uh, this is what we're going to be creating so let's just open up a fresh new slide all right and now let's just go to insert pictures from file and let's find this svg uh, file that we have just created let's hit insert here it is so we can hold down the shift and control key and uh, zoom in or i mean reduce the size of this shape uh, let's make it white so that we can see it better all right let's turn on the slide guides so that we can see where is the center of the slide and let's make sure that we align this uh, shape 
and before that let's make sure we click this button convert to shape all right so now it's converted to editable powerpoint shape and now let's align it to the center and to the middle of the slide let's zoom in a little bit and as you can see this shape is still not in the center of the slide so let's just hold down the shift key and let's drag it uh, like this straight upwards let's zoom out just there it's wonderful and now we can grab this donut shape from previous slide let's paste it right here we can send it back and now we can select uh, the donut shape hold down the shift key select our new shape that we have just created in Enscape. and now we can uh, go to shape format merge shapes and choose fragment all right and again we can select the donut shape parts that we need so these are shapes on the edges let's hold down the shift key and select all of them we can hit command x to cut everything that we need command a to select everything delete what we don't need and uh, hit command or control v to paste back in those beautiful seven shapes and that's how easy it is <laughs> that's how easy it is to divide a shape into an even number of parts all right so let me add a little bit of uh, 3d look to these individual shapes so first of all let's uh, change the fill colors so let's select this first one let's go to shape format and let's go to colors let's select this one and by the way i have created a custom uh, color palette now uh, you can always go to design tab colors uh, customize and you can create your own custom color palette right here you can change the accent colors and you can even change uh, these colors at the top uh, as well all right so let me quickly change the fill colors of all of these uh, shapes all right and now let's select all of these shapes and let's group them together group all right uh, we can uh, hide the slide guides we don't need them anymore and now let's add a little bit of a 3d look to these uh, donut uh, shapes so let's just go to let's uh, right click and choose format shape let's go to a 3d format options and for the top bevel let's uh, insert 10 points for width 10 points for height and let's say 200 points for depth all right and now let's collapse these options and let's go to 3d rotation options and here from the presets let's try uh, this one it's called perspective relaxed moderately let's hit it and let's see what do we get looks pretty awesome and we can play with the perspective arrows let's try to click on this one so we're getting a little bit a different look so i think it's uh, looks pretty awesome like that all right and to speed up the process let me just uh, copy these uh, beautiful text boxes from the previous slide you can always hold down the control and shift key and uh, reduce the size into the center like that because if we would just use the shift key and drag like this so as you can see a shape drags to the corner let me undo but if we use Control shift you can resize from the center and you can decrease the size to the center so that's really useful let's make, let's make sure we're still in the center yep so ladies and gentlemen let me just grab these uh, beautiful steps from the previous slide and if we would just uh, look at the selection pane as you can see here at the top we have text boxes and then we have these uh, groups of elements i have named them in the selection pane for easy understanding you know where where is what so uh, let's just select all of these uh, steps hold down the shift keys to select all of them right hit command or Control c to copy and let's paste them right here and you can adjust uh, the order of uh, your steps as you can see uh, some of the colors are mixed up i guess i was using the different order and different color order right here so let me just quickly update these colors for the steps
All right, so I have updated the colors and now we can just drag around these uh, groups of shapes so that we have some space between the steps and the infographic. And hopefully all of the animations are working properly. So I just basically added some uh, fly-in animations from the uh, right side and from the left side. So let's just go to animation pane and see if everything is working fine. Alright, so we have the step animations. Let's make sure that uh, we just drag step number four slightly downwards like this. And let's make sure that we copy the animation for the infographic from the previous slide. Let's use Animation Painter and let's click it right here. And one more thing, one scale logo. Let's hit uh, Command Control C and let's paste it right here. Now let's see the final result. All right. <laughs> So let's just make sure that um, our infographic infographic comes uh, third, just like this. And now I think we can just check it out on the full screen. So ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create this seven step process infographic in PowerPoint with a little bit of Inkscape help. And at the same time, now you know how you can divide a circle or donut shape into any number of parts that you want. So thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.